What is up, nerdy squad? You already know who it is back with another video. So we got to talk about the MCU because I did a live stream the other day talking about the Fantastic Four. So a lot of y'all probably know or don't know the Fantastic Four has been going through a lot. As you know, we had the movies back in the early 2000s, I believe 2006, 2007. And then they did the reboot in 2014, maybe, or 2013. Uh, and now they're trying to bring the uh, the Fantastic Four into the MCU. And things just haven't been working out very well for that because it's been reported that the Fantastic Four script is going through another rewrite. And I did my research, and this is the third rewrite that it's going through. It went through a rewrite in 2022. It went through a rewrite in 2023. And now it's going through a rewrite in 2024. And the movie, I believe, is supposed to start shooting in May. Now, people are saying that all signs, at least insiders are saying all signs point to this movie being finished um, and ready to go come, I mean, not the movie, but the, the script being set and ready to go by uh, the deadline, I guess, that they have, which is the movie being shot in May. And, you know, um, people are also saying that, you know, what should come first? Should it be the Fantastic Four? Should it be um, Doctor Doom? Because as y'all know, we've had a huge <clears throat> excuse me issue with um the he who remains came the conqueror with jonathan majors being fired and people saying that we should get dr doom but in my opinion um i think that they should bring in the fantastic four before they bring in dr doom like you know maybe they could do it either way bring in dr doom and then bring in the fantastic four in a cameo appearance but it's like every time you turn around they hire a new actor or they start talking about some new actor is being picked to play this character and then they drop out like i get it you know playing a superhero is a lot of people's dreams maybe for some people it's not but it's hard you know because you're in this part of the mcu now that's not doing so great and i want to see the fantastic four do great i want to see them knock it out the park i think the early 2000s movies were okay the first one was cool i didn't really care for the second one I never watched the um I never watched the 2014 film. I started to one day, but I just couldn't I just decided not to since it wasn't going anywhere. And now we're getting this 2025 film that's supposed to be dropping. If it drops next year, I know the after strikes caused a lot of pushback. So who knows when it's dropping? But I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, it's going through a start rewrite. And fans are starting to lose hope along with that and the X-Men because we don't know when they want to bring them into the MCU. They still got other heroes and stuff that they still got to give sequel movie twos and keep pushing. I know we probably not look getting an Eternals movie sequel, but we still got the Shang-Chi dude sitting around there in Limbo. I'm kind of trying to think anybody else is sitting in Limbo right now, but the, as far as that one, that's the one I know. But yeah, uh, this, this, this movie uh, has been going through a lot. I'm hoping the Marvel is able to get their head out of their ass and get it right. But I do want to know y'all's opinion on what's going on with the Fantastic Four movie that we supposed to be getting next year. Do you think we're still going to get it next year? Or do you think it's going to come in 2026 or even further down the line? Or do you think it's probably going to get dropped altogether? I know it's been rumors, but obviously, you know, they, it could get dropped and or pushed back five, six years from now until they really try and find a way to squeeze it into the MCU. So y'all let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about that? Um, like, comment, subscribe. I should have said this at the beginning of my video. Please make sure you watch all my videos. Your boy is trying to reach his goal of 4,000 watch time hours. So help me reach that goal by watching all my videos um, from start to finish. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to reach 1,400 YouTube subscribers by the end of this year. I'm trying to make the YouTube partner program a reality. So I appreciate everybody who support my channel. Thank you. I'll see you on my next video.